I'm Mark Nielsen from FNAV, and this coffee break, uh, I'll show you the uh, FNAV Excel reporting capabilities. Um, and how I'll, I'll get through, through this uh, with you is that I'll follow these steps. First, we're going to talk about the prerequisites for, uh, for running FNAV Excel reports, and then we are going to show you how to run one. Uh, then to create a template that's different than the one we uh, ship the product with. <laughs> then we're going through how to modify a, an existing FNAF Excel report and then create a new one from scratch. Um, so the prerequisites are pretty simple. So you need the uh, FNAF report pack. Um, you can get that from App Source or from a website. Then you need the uh, FNAF uh, designer, uh, minimum is 7.0. <laughs> Um, and then uh, for creating any new uh, Excel reports uh, from scratch, you need any business central on F from no, 2013 and up, and it can be either cloud or on-prem. Um, to run a FNAF report, you simply uh, run the reports from the uh, business central you are. So we have built in actions uh, all over the application to, to get these reports. Um, then when you have uh, created a FNAF Excel report and you want to change the look and feel, you simply import this into the uh, designer uh, and publish the new layout with the with the template. Um, I will also show you how to modify uh, one of the reports with any data from any table in the system uh, and also publish that. And then uh, as the last thing, we're going to look at how to create a new Excel report. Uh, but let me change to uh, the business central client. Um, so in here, I'm on the customer page. And if I go to reports, uh, you will see there's two new reports here called the FNAF customer data entries and the FNAF value entries. Um, and basically what this does is to run a query um, that uh, iterates to all the uh, value or custom data entries, and then per month and per dimension uh, transfers the result into a, an Excel spreadsheet. And it does that extremely fast. Um, so I'll get the normal request page in here, and I'll press OK. I'll basically iterate all over all the uh, record sets in, in Business Info. So now it's done with the uh, rendering, now it's transferring the Excel spreadsheet to, to my machine. Uh, in here, what, what you see is that uh, we don't have column names um, like you have in normal business central, but we have the real captions in here. So uh, so all of these cast, ca captions are in the Cosmos uh, uh, own language, uh, and you can recognize them up here. You can also see that uh, it says value entries are down here. It will also be translated. So everything is in your own language. Um, and what we also can do is that we can drill back into Business Central. Um, so up here, if I want to see this sales actual back in Business Central and see what these data consist of, I can simply click on this link uh, and get through the verification and open the uh, Business Central client to, to see the, the values that lies behind this. In this case, there's only one record, but normally there's a lot more. Um, but the idea is that you can simply go back into Business Central and see what's going on. So uh, the Excel spreadsheet is not the end of the world like it uh, like usually is. Uh, what you also can do is to, to go and, and change the look of field list. You can also add new tabs with more data um, and, um, and, of course, change the design of it. So I go to the paper table and here and click on this. I can go to design and select. Uh, a new style sheet. If I then go and save this to my hard drive um, and, and close it, I can go to the FNAF designer over here and simply open the report from the server. Uh, so this is called value entries. And here, open this and press OK. I simply uh, get the report from the server. Uh, so to Import the, the template, you simply go and uh, select the Excel templates property over here, 
and now I can go and import this value entry <laughs> um, in here. Um, so now next thing I I should do is to basically go and uh, and save this as custom layout on the server and and activate it. And I'm not going to show that now, but uh, that's what's going to happen. <coughs> um, so next thing I might want to do is to add more uh, more data to my later entries, uh, and I do that simply by going to the report props in here and select I want to have the uh, JavaScript records, and I want to add an, an item table to get data from that. So I link this to my later entries here, uh, and for now simply figure out the relation between the two of them, so you don't have to think about that. Next thing I need to do is to go to the fields up here uh, and add the fields that you need. So let's say I want to add description in here and put it back. Um, paste OK. And now what I need to publish this is that I need to save this as a custom layout and server and activate it. So I'm not changing any code here, it's just in the custom layout and if I find my way back to uh, my custom up here uh, and, and go to my report skin. It's okay, I should get the new spreadsheet with the uh, with the extra columns in there. So my new values in here, and you can see now I've got my item description here. Uh, so the whole idea is that from my design, I can simply connect my later ranges to any data from any related table in here and uh, get that shown in my Excel spreadsheet uh, within a couple of minutes. Um, so last thing I want to show is to create a new report. That's also really simple. So I go to the template and then I simply click on the empty Excel template and it's going to uh, read uh, the information for BC to get started. Now I've got this empty template here and I'll drag in the uh, a new data item and say I want to have this as a customer. And then I can go and add the fields just like before. So I'll simply take the fields in here and go and add. Let's take number and name and then we can take address and address two and here um, and the last thing I need to do is just go and save this as a new object on the server uh, and it will publish my um, new Excel report to the server. I can also go and say I want to add this to a, a page as an action, so I can say I extend page. I say I want to be able to run this for my customer list. I simply go and say OK. And now it's automatically going to uh, create a new page extension that uh, leads me to running this um, this new Excel report from my uh, customer list, just like the other two reports. Um, and again, to get this up and running, I simply go and say save this as an object on the server, and then it will be immediately available for for people using the system. Um, but let's go back and wrap up. Um, so I talked about the prerequisites uh, uh, that you need to have uh, then to run an existing FNAP Excel report, how to create a new template that you, you can see when you run this report, then how to modify an Excel report to get to data, data on any table in your system and then how to create a new Excel report. Um, if you want to know more, uh, you can simply go to the FNAP website. Uh, you can download the designer from our download page. You can get the report back from AppSource. Uh, you can see this and other videos on the uh, YouTube can channel that we have created. And if you... Uh, have questions uh, beyond this, you can also write to support at fornav.com.